On the afternoon of Wednesday, August 9th, a WestJet passenger aircraft at Comox Valley Airport came in contact with a CC-130H Hercules military transport aircraft while taxiing on the ground. The aircraft was on its way to Edmonton and was headed towards the runway when the incident occurred. The WestJet aircraft was a Boeing 737-700 passenger jet, registered Charlie Foxtrot Whiskey Sierra India, while the other aircraft was a CC-130H Hercules aircraft belonging to the Royal Canadian Air Force, or RCAF. WestJet Flight WS346 is a daily service to Edmonton International Airport from Comox. As reported by Times Colonist, on the day, the 737, while taxiing on the ground, collided with a Hercules aircraft. However, none of the passengers or crew on board the aircraft were hurt or injured. Additionally, the reports indicate that the Hercules was parked and was not occupied at the time of the incident. Immediately after the collision, the 737 stopped taxiing. Shortly thereafter, the crew and passengers were offloaded from the aircraft. Reports indicate that the starboard side wing of the 737 collided with the empennage of the Hercules and broke off. The empennage is the term used to describe the rear end of the aircraft and includes the vertical and the horizontal stabilizers, which include two of the three primary aircraft control surfaces, rudders and elevators. Statements taken from the passengers suggest that shortly after the collision, the pilot apologized to the passengers on the aircraft PA system and stated that the pilots were informed there was space to taxi around the Hercules. This, unfortunately, turned out to be false. The pilot did not specify whether this information was provided by the control tower or other ground personnel. The definite cause of this incident is yet to be determined, with the investigation to be carried out by WestJet, the Royal Canadian Air Force and Canada's Transportation Safety Board. As is normally the case in aviation, even the slightest hitch can have a knock-on effect on an airline's operations. As it is an outstation, WestJet does not have maintenance capability at Comox, something that further complicates the matter of getting the aircraft airworthy again. Apart from a grounded aircraft, the airline would also have had to accommodate all the passengers and crew in Comox. Apart from the airline, even the RCAF could potentially face operational disruptions due to this incident. This is primarily because the CC-130H Hercules aircraft involved is part of the 19-wing Comox fleet and is used for operations within the region of Victoria. The RCAF is reportedly working to minimise impacts on fixed-wing search and rescue operations. What do you think of this incident? Have you ever spotted a Lockheed C-130 Hercules for yourself? Share your experiences and thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.